This is the game of Oregon Trail, a game for two to six players, ages 12 and up, takes about 30 minutes to play roughly, but it could be quicker than that depending on if players die quickly, and it could be a little longer. It's got 32 calamity cards, 26 supply cards, 58 trail cards, including your start and end cards, one die, one dry erase marker, and one dry erase board. You'll write down the names of each player on this board, and when they die, you'll flip it over, and you'll write down the names here and a short epitaph so all the other players can mourn them when they die. Then you'll remove your name from the list on the front. This is the setup for two players, in which you'll deal five trail cards to each player, and then five random supply cards. Players will look at these and keep them face down, typically, but for the sake of this tutorial, I've placed them face up so you can see them. Then one player will separate the remaining supply cards into their stacks, and that'll become the shop. That player is going to be the shopkeeper. On your turn, you can do one of two things. You can play a trail card from your hand, or play a supply card. The trail cards you'll pull from here, if you can't play anything, will end your turn completely. And once you play cards from here, or a supply card, that also ends your turn as well. And the supply cards will go back to that stack. So now from your hand, you'll take a trail card when you start the game off, and you'll lay a trail card down in the center. Cards like this means nothing happens. So you'll place it next to the start card, horizontally. And once you get five cards lined up, the goal is going to be to get ten stacks of five before you win. The next card you play has to line up with the end of the card that you played previously, so the next player will have to play something that matches, and if it doesn't, you can rotate the cards like so. Now, if the card says uh, press space bar to continue, you have to draw a calamity card. In this case, we got bad water. You wash away one bad water with one clean water card, two bad water cards collected, and the oxen die, and if you have one round with no oxen, then everyone dies. And that goes down the side of the player that pulled it. Now the next person that goes can actually play their clean water card to the supply, and then that gets rid of the bad water card. Now you don't necessarily have to play a supply card to save another player. You can actually let them die because some cards can kill individual players. It may be strategic to do that, but it sucks. But it is what it is. For this next card, you have something here but it says you have to ford the river. Here you've got to roll an even number, and if you roll an odd number, you end your turn and lose a supply, and you'll keep doing that until someone fords the river. If no one fords the river as you go around, you keep losing supply cards, so you can't, and then eventually you all die. You can also trade two of any one type of supply cards for any one supply from the uh, supply shop, I guess. So you can take two oxen cards for water, or you can say, two clothes for any one thing over here in the shop, and whoever chooses that is the person that's going to keep it. Now here we've got another one. Play one at the bottom. We draw a Calamity card, and we've drawn a Broken Tongue. Broken Wagon Tongue. Roll four, five, or six to repair now, or Roll a one through three, you have to use a spare parts card to repair the broken tongue. One round of play without it, then everyone dies. So the round is considered going all the way around and back to you. That way you have at least one turn to save yourself after you've drawn that calamity. And now I have to roll either a four, five, or six to, to do it, but I rolled a one, and I have to get a spare part, which I don't have. So I'll trade two clean water for spare parts, and then I'll use that spare parts right away to get rid of the broken tongue. And when you get five cards here in your trail here, you're going to stack them up either all under the bottom of the last card or the first card on the first stack. After that, they'll have to go under the last card in the stack. And since they're both the same, we'll do this. Now, every five cards we play, we'll turn to another stack. And once we get ten stacks of five, that means the game is over. If one player makes it, then we all win. So this is just a quick example turn to show you how easily you can die. Um, this wasn't planned, it's just kind of played this way. So I'll place one more card here, and then when I drew this, I ended up getting this card, which is a snake bite. And that card means you die of a snake bite instantly. What happens when a player dies is you're going to will two of your supplies to another player. So I, I put over there the um, oxen card and the bullets, and then I put the clothing back into the stock of supplies. All the other trail cards go back under the deck, and as long as one person makes it to that end trail, then you all win. And that's the gist of Oregon Trail, so check it out and enjoy.